Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to go back up to the Great White North. Uh, I'm going to give a little bit of news and a little bit of analysis related to what we've been talking about a lot the last couple months. Uh, Marty Robert, the Hells Angels, and this offensive that uh, is kind of a war within a war uh, where the Hells Angels are trying to hostile takeover the Rizzuto mob. Um, and there was... Uh, word coming from the United States, uh, I guess, from Hell- Hell's Angel leaders in the United States uh, up to uh, Canada in the last year, trying to tell uh, Marty to um, maybe maybe be a little less ambitious, uh, less hi- uh, high profile. And word was that he sent um, a message back telling them to kind of mind their own business. So uh, naturally, I think there's been a question that really hasn't been answered or maybe even publicly uh, uh, posited, but I'm going to throw it out there. Uh, Marty Robert, obviously the um, most well-known biker right now in in Canada, the the one that's getting all the headlines, the one that uh, is swinging the biggest stick. But uh, for people that follow uh, the biker world or the underworld in Canada, we all know that there's somebody at a higher level than Marty, even now. Uh, uh, Walter Stadnick, aka Nurgit is the godfather of the Hells Angels in all of Canada. He's the region, a regional boss, uh, was a, a, a lieutenant uh, of Mom Boucher uh, back in, in the 80s and 90s. And he's out of Hamilton, Ontario, uh, did a, a prison stint, came out, I think, in 2018 or 19, and has been laying low ever since. But uh, the idea that Marty could... Um, l- l- light the ignite the flame or uh put this very ambitious takeover plan into motion without getting the sign-offs from both you know uh, nurgit in in hamilton ontario but other uh, bosses in ontario uh, of the hell's angels because you know if, if if you deep dive this thing a little bit more and you talk to people in marty's orbit it appears that you know Marty isn't going to be satisfied if he takes uh, uh, if he takes down the Rizzutos and and takes over the Montreal uh, drug and gambling empire all for himself. Uh, the word is that he doesn't want to stop there. He wants the whole country, and that he plans to uh, push further into Ontario, into areas that the Hell's Angels don't already have a foothold in, and then possibly start moving west uh, to. Um, Alberta and and British Columbia after that is achieved. Um, And I wanted to, you know, take the temperature of of the Hells Angels brass in Ontario. And I talked to my sources and everyone says that uh, uh, Nurgit and all of the top Hells Angels shot callers in Ontario are in lockstep behind Marty and uh, are fully on board with what uh, Marty's trying to do in conquering the Rizzutos. So you got Nurgit in in Hamilton, which borders the United States uh, with the, the New York border into you know into Buffalo, uh, but you also have some other guys. You know, I'm told that uh, Ontario as a province, because you got to remember Nurgit is in charge of the whole country. Uh, Ontario as a province is being run by uh, a guy named Joe Ertel, I'm told, and then uh, a former boss that's now the uh, VP uh, One Eye Meyer. So those guys have Ontario. Uh, you know, a, a, as 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 the province, Ottawa, I'm told, is being run by uh, a guy they call Sasquatch, um, and uh, Sasquatch Porter, Paul Porter, I think his name is, and uh, Patrick Locke is another guy uh, from from Ottawa, uh, uh, Hell's Angels shot caller, and then um, the Nomads in Ontario are uh, got uh, Bernatchez and uh, Crazy Phil. So all those guys, I'm told, uh, are have signed off with Marty and are on call uh, whenever Marty needs them. And when he's done with what he's doing in Montreal, he's going to uh, rely on them and leverage them to, to do, do his bidding in, in, in Ontario in, in the same direction that he's pushing now, where you know he wants the whole paradigm in Canada, which for the last... 50, 60, 70 years, you've had the Italians on top and everyone else uh, subservient to them. But Marty wants to flip it, have the Hells Angels as the ultimate shot callers in the Canadian underworld and everyone else kind of filling behind them. So 
Ontario's on board. Nurgit, uh, who is a, is is a legend. I talked to somebody. They said, you know, Marty knows Nurgit's a legend. Marty wants to be a legend. Marty would never do this without Nurgit's uh, approval or co-signing. And you know, he wants to be Nurgit. Uh, but I, I think a little bit, maybe like a combination of Nurgit and Mom Boucher, uh, have a uh, Mom Boucher's uh, presence or profile on the street with with Nurgit's. Uh, shadowy uh, savviness um it kind of the best of both worlds i guess so just keeping tabs on what's going on up uh in canada i'm gonna have some, a couple more reports uh with some news that i've been able to track down and, and give some context to in, into this uh ever evolving in real time uh like i said it's a war within a war you have the great Canadian mafia war that's been raging since around 2009 and then at some point in 2020 to uh, the alliance, the longtime alliance between the Hells Angels and the Rizzuto mob uh, fractured. And you have Marty Robert trying to basically assume control of what used to, or which still is uh, to a degree, Rizzuto mob territory, uh, but he wants it all for himself. So we'll keep you updated uh, up there uh, going forward into the 2024 new year. I'm Scott Bernstein, OG Pod out. Mm -hmm.